on a wet and overcast day when Cedar continued to do the necessary laundry to keep the kids' clothes clean. I checked the solar converter just to get an idea where we were at. And again, I was shocked at the efficiency and just the simple idea that we're able to function under the pretenses. It's really mind-blowing to think that the solar system is more than producing the power that we need. Last week I reached out to a friend and told him to schedule five loads of gravel before the weather changed. Naturally, it rained like crazy over the weekend, and I worried if his drivers would be able to get the gravel up here safely. Now, these guys have done more work up here than anybody else has by far. They know the road, they know the area, they know what they're working with. And about the time I began to worry, the first load showed up. The Massey Ferguson tractor I bought about a week ago is not quite ready to use. The head gasket is leaking enough where I don't want to hurt the engine. I've ordered the parts and I've decided to do the job myself, but in the meantime, I grabbed the neighbor's tractor to quickly spread the gravel in between loads. It's taking the driver about an hour to get from the gravel pit to the ranch and I'm doing everything I can to get the gravel spread at the two to three inch base that we want before he shows up again. As I spread the gravel in my typical frugal ways, I began to question whether or not we really needed five loads. I told myself four loads would be enough About that time, Cedar reminded me this is the one place that being frugal would probably not pay. I told the driver to bring five loads. In the last three years that we've been working on the place, we've probably had close to 100 yards of what they call pit run gravel delivered and spread. And as you can see, it goes away pretty quick. I anticipate this gravel will likely do the same. Having 80 to 100 yards of gravel delivered every year may be something we have to do for many years to come before it's finally packed in well enough where it does not require as much. Over the weekend, as it began to rain, and we had to deal with the mud for that short period of time, 
I could tell Cedar also had some anxiety associated with the mud. As I spread the gravel around, I could see her concerns quickly go away. Thank goodness we replaced the sewer line and re-leveled this area before putting the gravel down because now it feels permanent. Now it feels like a home. Cedar hollered at me and recommended that I put a little bit of gravel in front of the shop foundation, which I did. We have enough gravel on the driveway leading up to the house that it'll take a few weeks for it to pack down before the tires stop spinning. Cheyenne has to learn to carefully drive her Jeep up the hill without spinning her tires all the way up. But we're getting it figured out. The weather's changing, the temperature's dropping, As I spread the gravel, I found myself feeling incredibly grateful for days like today. 70 degree weather, no mud, chance of rain, the birds are chirping. I don't know if I could ask for a whole lot more other than maybe getting the front porch finished. It's amazing how much more room we have to park now. I just need to accumulate enough rocks to line the other side of the driveway, and then we're good to go. Old Bandit looks for every chance he can to harass the two kitties, but they're all starting to get things figured out. He fits in perfect. He seems to prefer Cedar more than me, but she likes him a lot. But I believe she likes him more than maybe any other dog we've had up to this point.
I've nearly got the front porch timbers finished. I'm trying to get everything finished up so I can go pick up the 2x12s. And if all goes well, finish up the porch in the next week to 10 days. For three years now, we've considered the idea of sitting on our front porch and just observing. Both myself and Cedar look forward to the moment where we can sit on the front porch and soak in the beauty around us. I believe at some point in the near future I'll build a picnic table that we can set down under the front porch and eat meals as a family together. All of the electrical is done. All of the plumbing is done. I need to adjust the wood burning stove about four inches more away from the wall before I can get the final inspection on the local level. Sure feels good to have these things done. As we're progressively making the list of things that need to get done shorter and shorter, I find myself thinking about the shop and how I'm gonna build it. As soon as I get a few more things taken care of, I'm gonna spend a few days in the woods, cutting the trees down that I can use to mill for the shop. Now that I've got the tractor figured out, I can get the wood chipper going again. And all around the sawmill, I can put wood chips down so I'm not fighting the mud up there as well. It seems like there's always a million things to do around here. At the end of every day, as I reevaluate what I've gotten done, I oftentimes recognize I didn't get anywhere near as much done as I thought I could. But I'll wake up and do it all over again until I get all of these things taken care of. Once the shop is built, it will most definitely change the pressure that I feel to get the outside projects done before winter sets in. Once I have a place to work on these projects out of the weather, it will again be a game changer. I've told the kids that I'm pretty much okay with having whatever animals they want to have around here as long as they're willing to take care of them and they use them. As much as I love horses and would love having a horse, the problem with horses is they do a lot more standing and eating than they do getting ridden. But still, I told Cheyenne we'd get a horse, but I don't believe that's going to happen this year. I do find myself thinking about goats and how I could fence in the goats to keep them up on the hill to get the weeds chewed down before snow comes. I had goats as a kid and for some reason I can't seem to get them out of my system. So I should probably hurry up and find some so I can figure this out before there's snow on the ground. <laughs> 